Hey guys! Hello! Welcome to this lovely, lovely Wednesday. I'm a bit of a frog today, so you'll have to excuse me. <laughs> Usually you're a lizard, now you're a frog. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I, I switched reptiles. So, we're going with a frog today. <laughs> Everybody hear that? Apparently Justin has a frog call on his desk. Yep. We did buy some when we were in Tucson. That's what it is. It's one of those, yeah. So, all righty, everybody. Um, we've got, you know, Spencer over here. He's going to do some braiding for us, I hear. Yep. That's right. Denny conned him into a video today. So, yeah. thank you very much, yep. sir. You're welcome. No You're problem. Welcome. Um, and then Denny is going to... So, today's video is kind of talking about using a rain rounder, um, which is a thing that you could probably find at some antique stores. And then I think also Weaver sells them. Yeah. There, um, there are several in the in the world, I think. Yeah, I think they've been around for a really long time. What is, Denny, tell us about a rain Well, rounder. most people don't have any idea what they're for or have never seen one or used one. <clears throat> they aren't absolutely necessary. Spencer, you probably have never used no. one, have you? <laughs> but he so, uses a board, a board. But like he's know, rolling out some depth. If, if you're a braider, after you've braided something, a lot of times it'll be kind of kinky and, and it won't be really straight. You know, but you can roll it on a table, a flat surface, you know, and, and round it out. But a rain rounder will do two things. It'll round it out and it will uh, create a lot of stretch. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you've braided something, it'll it'll stretch quite a bit. And you can get a lot of that stretch out with a rain rounder. Mm -hmm. So you can pre-post-stretch. Pre yes. Yeah, pre-post-stretch. <laughs> but... But uh, you can also use it if, if you wanted a, a stitched rain that was a, or a stitched anything, dog collar, mm -hmm. uh, a handbag handles, uh, lots of things, you know, you can use a, a round piece of leather for. And uh, that's what I'm going to do today. Spencer's going to braid a piece there. Yep. A dog lead, dog I guess, lead. is yep. what, what we're going to make out of that. And, and Denny's going to make a rain. Yeah. Actually, I've got two of them. I've already stitched one of them because the stitching and the bending and everything is quite a process for me. <laughs> but anyway, I guess I don't know what else to say. Perfect. I think that's I think that's lovely. So why don't you guys just, oh, great. Start just do it. things? Yeah, I love it. We'll start here. Let me see. I think I'm going to put this down over here. Thanks, Crystal. I got my button installed finally. I didn't do it. My mother did it. <laughs> <My mother. laughs> she also refused to put the original button back on it because she said that was too lame. So she found these little like faux leather knotted buttons. And then she also found me some, some cuff buttons also. It did not have cuff buttons originally, but we added them. It Very does, fancy now. It does now, yes. It sure does. All right. I've already put one. This is a piece of Latigo, and I've already put one coat of cement on it. But I'm going to put a double coat on it because Latigo has a lot of oils and waxes and stuff in it. And it doesn't like the cement a lot. Now, Denny, what thickness of leather are you working with? This is a 7 to 8 ounce leather, both of these pieces. And uh, I've got an inch and a half wide piece that I'm working on here. And uh, you can use a heavier piece and it makes a really nice... Uh, you know, finished product, but it's pretty thick. It's harder to work with. The thicker the leather is, the harder it is to work with. Mm -hmm. But this is pretty nice. And it'll, I used to make a lot of roping reins uh, like this. A lot of people like the round rein to, to, to use for that. And uh, this is a good weight for that. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. And Spencer, you just have some oil tan that you've... Uh, I didn't do any of this. Denny... Actually. Yeah, that, that Ooh, did he prep your stuff? No, I didn't have to yeah, do anything. That was just a strip of leather you had hanging over there on your, oh, yeah. your rack, so, so I yeah, typed it. <laughs> <laughs> typed it. You ever typed anything? Uh, yeah, I type things from you all the time. <laughs> but I do try to bring them back. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and I did the same thing for Spencer. See, he's got it again. Mm -hmm. I got it right back. I forgot to change it back. Lord Daniel, my... My mom gave me some good tips about not permanently attaching leather panels to jackets. So she said that you should go to the fabric store and get some some of the really large fabric snaps. 
and then find a piece of fabric that's the same fabric of your clothing if you can build build that piece like build a frame around your tooled piece um in the fabric and then install the snaps in that and then install snaps in your clothing and then you can take them off when you need to wash it she said if, you, if any of you out there have ever had those old style jackets with the big fur lapels uh -huh. on them um she said those are always attached with snaps so wow, i didn't know that yeah so that you can take it off launder it and then put your fur back on and i said yeah mom i'm totally familiar with all the fur jackets that people used to wear in like the 20s that's totally i'm <laughs> totally in on that crowd <laughs> anyways i told her i didn't mind hand washing the armpits of my jacket every few weeks <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, this is the piece that I already have. I've already uh, glued it and folded it and stitched it. But this is a piece of vegetable tan leather, so I wet it before I folded it. Mm -hmm. That makes things much easier and much better. If you try to fold this while it's dry, you run a chance of, of cracking it right down the center. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's really hard to make it take a shape like that. But I've already stitched this. And I've trimmed it off and I've edged it, but now I'm going to run it through the rounder and show you what it does. Because if you, I don't know if you can, you can see the shape of it or not, but it's not perfectly round. If you look at this part, it's round, but then you get to the stitch part and it's got a, a, a pinched edge on it. But I'm going to run it through this rounder over here, if we can get a picture of it. This rounder, it just has. A, are, are you seeing what I'm where I am here? No, you're standing in front of it. Well, there you go. There you see, see it? it has a series of holes here. They go from large to small. You got me a sandbag. Thank you. So I'm going to start. And it just opens up like this and it closes. There's a little hole you can put a pin through it if you want to. I think I've got it. Yeah. I want to see like to put this pen through it to hold it closed, but I'm just going to hold it with my hand. And the main thing on this uh, vegetable tan is it needs to be wet because it won't take the shape if it's not wet. This this is a pretty loose hole here, so I'm going to pull it through it first. That's definitely screwed down to the table. Yeah, if you can look at it and tell me I haven't done very much yet, right? No, but you could see it. Yeah. It's starting, it's starting to actually spread this part, kind of flatten it out. What's it spread apart, Denny? What's that? Yeah. Can you point to it while you're sitting right there? What, what was spreading out? The, the actual seam. Oh, okay. See, there's a ridge right here on the outside where, where this seam is. You're kind of rolling it. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to get rid of. And this won't get rid of it completely, but it will round it out pretty darn nice. Yeah. And all every piece of leather you get, one end will be a little heavier than the other, a little more firm than the other. This is the, the least firm end. The least firm end. The least firm, yeah. Firmer part. It's also it seems a little bit heavier. Now, can you see what I'm doing, Liz? Oh yeah, that looks nice. Hey Heath, what what are you asking if is it's hollow? Did we already get to that? Yes, it is hollow. I don't have a core in this. Okay, you can look at Denny. Denny knew. <laughs> you can put a core in it. Uh, that will make it bigger around, you know, and you can use a lighter piece of leather that way if, if you want. So you just took that piece of leather and you just folded it in half and stitched it down. Right. And now you're rounding it. Now I'm rounding it. Gotcha.
looks like a brake line flailing tool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Where? that's about Fla that's about all that I can do with that. But that well, there's no air in R in that, so it's it's the flailing tool. <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> But, but that made it pretty good. That That's pretty darn pretty round. Good, pretty darn round. Were you, were you holding mm -hmm. overhead? Also, guys, did you see the sweet rug that Tony and I found yesterday? Let me zoom in a little bit on that. No, it's, I think it's perfect. So that's how flat he got that upper portion. Also, gonna hit a little bit later on after I get this other one stitched. I'm gonna saddle soap that good because mm -hmm. the saddle soap will make it slick and make it slide through the rounder more. And I can make it a little rounder yet with that. But now I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna show them how I just fold this. So you let your contact cement get all tacky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I, this is two coats on this Latigo because, like I said, it doesn't want to see that very. Sorry, much. guys. I was trying to get oh, Spencer. We don't. We don't love a, a million holes in our table here. So I mean, we screwed down the the rain rounder because that seemed necessary, but we just got Spencer a ten pound bean bag. So yep. it works. Yeah. Are you ready, Tony? Yep, you're good. Okay, I'm just starting in the middle, and I'm gonna go both ways with this. Because this is a pretty firm piece of leather, <laughs> and it has a mind of its own. Does it? You just have to. And is it wet, Denny? No. No. Okay. No, it's Latigo. You you can't oh. wet Latigo. <laughs> that's why you know. That's why I put two coats of cement on it. So hopefully it'll stick. I'm just gonna say I sent an email last night out to some people, and I said, "Hey, we're doing some marketing for 2024," and I meant 2023. So. Mm -hmm. Starting early this year. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I haven't realized that I got it wrong until somebody told me. <laughs> this pair of duckbill pliers. These are actually jeweler's pliers that I'm using. <laughs> they work very well. Are right. those ones that we have on retail? Yes, they are. Uh, in the jewelry department, I think. Mm -hmm. They should be regular, though, with an item number. <coughs> Excuse me. When you do this, your your leather is going to twist, and you think you made a spiral out of it, but it's pretty easy to untwist after you've stitched it. Rob says I look like I should be presenting a country music award. <laughs> That's pretty spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I'll put that on my goal of things to do. One of the, the Twitch people that watch, their name is Latigo Smith. Oh, yeah? And they said that they have a lot of oils and waxes in them. Yes, they do. <laughs> that's, that's the purpose. It makes them... Uh, I think they were just saying, personally, they have a lot of oils and waxes. They've got a lot of oils and waxes in them. They're yeah. hot stuffed. <laughs> yeah, Latigo, that should, that should have been your name. Latigo Smith, hot stuffed. Hot stuffed Latigo. Hot stuffed Latigo. It's sticking pretty good. Keith, this is Latigo leather. Thus all the Latigo talk, talk <laughs> and puns. It's so funny to be here today. Speaking of funny, is one funny dad here? Where's Ryan? It's a long rain. <laughs> you cut it. I know, it's eight <laughs> feet. It's hard to find an eight foot rain anymore. They don't grow cows as long as they used Short to. Short cows. <laughs> oh, Heath. 
I gotta give you a hard time. Hey, Brenda. Okay. Now I'm going to the machine. On the road again. We gotta get our camera out from behind the light. That's right there that you guys can't see, but it is right there. <laughs> Spencer, how's it going? It's going. You're brightening up a storm over there. Yeah. You got like a foot. Mm -hmm. You got a foot long. Got a foot long braid. <laughs> Spencer showed me a video of some shenanigans that he's working oh. on right now. <laughs> yeah. He's he's retrofitting a riding lawnmower yep. for shenanigans. Yep. Very fast shenanigans. <laughs> Are you gonna wear a helmet when you ride that thing? Oh yeah. Oh good. Yes. I'm a racing lawnmower. It is a racing lawnmower. So that's Spencer's a true country boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be very fast. What what is very fast, Spencer? Uh hopefully like sixty or seventy. Oh my god! Hopefully, somewhere in there. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to wear knee pads and elbow pads and, and like pads. three helmets. Three helmets. <laughs> or just a one really, really good one. Ooh, your really, attention is funky. I have a really good one. When am I gonna learn to check this thread before I start? <laughs> Maybe never. <laughs> That's the answer to that question. We should have the Springfield Leather Awards. Tony, should we do that? Not today. Well, no, not today, but... Oh. We do on live shopping. We do have monthly... Oh, do you we want that? We have awards. Thank we you. have awards for the things that Tony and I like the best. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you next time that we have an award giveaway, you can wear your presenter's coat. Yeah, I will. But maybe not the whole time, because it gets toasty in here when we're selling leather. I mean, we're, we're very active. Yeah, we're... What did I... Never mind. We're silly. <laughs> we very much are. We're That's the most silly. Thing. Any adjective that you can think about, we are. <laughs> Fat and squishy. We should. We should have the Springfield Leather Award. That would be fun. We should have the Springfield Darwin Awards. The Springfield Darwin Awards? <laughs> Here's your sign. Yeah. I bet I could win. Man, that leather sure has changed colors. Check, check this out. So like this is, as it's braided, it's gotten really light and that's the color of yeah. it before it's braided. This is our crazy horse, uh, uh, right? It's just regular veg. Oh, this is veg? I believe it's veg. This is veg. What is it? No, it's not. No, no I don't think so. I this think is an oil tan. tan. Is it an oil tan? tan? Yeah, this is not, not crazy horse, um, cowboy. Oh, the copper cowboy. cowboy. Yeah. yeah, it's copper cowboy. Veg, where you be? You can get veg Bye, Ron. weird stuff. <laughs> How many strands are you doing there, Spence? It's a four strand. It's just a little baby four strand yep. with a little baby core. He's got some paracord in there. Yep, just a little, little paracord. So. What's the braid pattern? Uh, herringbone. Herringbone four strand. <laughs> yep. What width did you cut? What width did Denny cut your strips for you? Half inch? Three eighths. I believe they're about three eighths. Three eighths. Yeah, about three eighths. Three eighths inch wide. Like five, six ounce. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the swivel tail is. You got a swivel snap on the far end. Yeah. Most of the time I start with two strands, but Denny cut me four. <laughs> So, most of the time I would fold over two strands and just start, but mm. it's good. Let's figure it out.
Watch that 26 go! Everybody hand sewing at home is really jealous right now. Okay. It was eight feet of stitching. If I was hand sewing this, I would be in the box long for stitch. No, we didn't really talk too much about the way that Spencer's braiding. We, we've we done several braiding videos in the past with Spencer, so if you do want to watch, like, how to start, this is one that he's done before, like, from the beginning. Yeah. So he's just braiding it while Denny was doing other things, and then we'll watch him rain mm -hmm. round it. <clears throat> he's, he's speed braiding right now. Yeah. <laughs> Getting down to doing it. We are constantly stepping on squeaky toys in this room. There's like always a squeaky toy every un like under every chair because Luna will come up and she'll lay down and then she'll drop her toy and then she gets up and walks away and then you go to get out of your chair and then there's a toy that you step on every time. so hard to see all these tiny little comments. Ooh, the foxy owl just got her live shopping. Oh, guys, sad news for all of you live shoppers. You have two weeks to save money because Tony and I aren't aren't live shopping this week or next. So. I feel like it's sad news. Good news. Yeah, it's you good get news. To save money. You get to save some money for the next two weeks. Um, Ed Labar will be here. Um, Tony will be out of town this weekend. I will be out of town this weekend. Um, and so we just, we just didn't have the time to, to do it. Um, and then with Ed being here next week, this room will be full of people learning how to tool. So, um, we'll be taking next week off as well. Okay. And then we also won't have a video on Friday. It's going to be a kind of, this is like a one hit wonder week, which is unusual for us. You guys are going to have... You guys are going to have to go back and watch some of the greats. If you haven't watched some of the old videos that Justin's been remastering and posting, you can go watch, like, 10 years ago, Kevin, all cute and chubby on the retail floor, <laughs> doing some leather work. <laughs> Ooh, Denny. Everybody watching Denny with his head knife. I'm just trimming this. I, don't, I want to trim it fairly close to the stitches, but I don't want to. Cut your stitches. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to use a, an edge beveler on it, a pretty big one. So I don't want to get so close that I cut my stitches with the beveler. I'll get jealous when they make a machine, machine that can saddle stitch. Touche. I mean, I totally get you, Ralph. I would much rather have a saddle stitch. I actually have a knife sheath right here. I'll show you guys at the end that I just finished. It took me like two whole nights to sew it, so that's fine. Does it have SLC? No, we do not have free shipping unless you are live shopping with us on Thursday. And we do free shipping there just to kind of make it a very simple process for Tony and I. Um, but otherwise, Sprinkle Leather does not offer free shipping. We can add about 40% to each of our prices and then offer free shipping if you like. Yeah. Um, Tony, the the old move, the old old videos are on YouTube, right? They are. Okay. Yes, Foxy Al, they are on YouTube. Confirm. Okay, this is a number three common edge beveler that I'm using. You can use any beveler you've got. But like I said, I like to take a real big edge off of it. Makes it easier to, to round. Bye, Dean. Mm -hmm. 
Lots of practice, Crystal. I think Denny's been using a head knife for the same amount of time I've probably been alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, he does make it look so easy. Sometimes I'll get home and I'll go to try to use mine and it scares me and I stop. <laughs> I don't, when I went to work for a saddle maker, he said, this is a knife we use. <laughs> and, and that's all there was to it. <laughs> so, so I had to learn to use it. Got pretty close there. It's not really all that great of lace, Crystal. Right here. Okay. Or on the floor there. That's fine, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's barely got any grain on it. It's mostly just the fleshy side. Yeah. No structure to it. Are you getting there, Spence? Yeah, I'll say I'm done. Okay, I'm getting ready to go to the ring rounder with this. But the main key to this Latigo is saddle soap. I want to just really saddle soap the heck out of it. Denny, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say the main the main thing to most of your leather work is saddle soap. That's right. I love saddle soap. <laughs> Everybody says, how much do you use? And I say, just get it sloppy. Jim, I we can't do our live shopping on YouTube. Um, well... Not entirely true. We can do it on live shopping. That would require you guys to go all put in on YouTube. Our want to use it on YouTube is very low. Yeah. Because we used to do it on Twitch. Facebook, and now, now we're on Twitch. And Twitch is just a much nicer platform for, like, live streaming comments, which is when you're live shopping, very critical. People want their voices to be heard so they can win things. <laughs> You get ready to yep. answer? Yeah. Do you ever saddle soap yours? Oh, yeah. Saddle soap or conditioning soap. You can saddle soap the heck out of it right now. Alright, now I can saddle soap this good. <laughs> Denny Chevy wants to know if you, you saddle soap your hair because it always looks so good. No, I do. <laughs> no, I do water. <laughs> Water in the shower in the morning. <laughs> it's a good thing this table has locks on its wheels. Yeah. Place. Now, Denny, when you do this, do you always go the same direction? No, it doesn't matter. You can go either direction. Is it better to go from one direction than no. to go the other direction? No, as a matter of fact, I'm going to turn it around and go from the other way this time. It really doesn't make a difference. And like I say, this is the light end that I've got down to here because it's real easy to pull through. But when I'm I'm going to go right into the heavy end now and then we'll get pretty rough when I get right to the end. So in the same hole, you go forwards and backwards on the strip? You can. It, <coughs> I don't have, really have a routine about okay. that. That's pretty good. <laughs> Feels well, pretty good. Well, use that one. now we're going to do our braid. <coughs> Let's see here. I'm going to... Lay something here as far as the length of this goes, and we'll see how much it stretches it. Ooh. Right, that's the end of the snap there. <laughs> Don't drop it now. <laughs> 
I sure didn't. Did you see that? Oh, it's like an inch longer. This has got that uh, that cord in the middle too. Yeah. I can keep drag it there, but it just keep wearing on it. Yeah. The more you drag it, that snake's pretty nice. All right. Give me an overhead. So we've got, I guess, maybe we should have shown it to you guys before oh, we did this, yeah. but it stretched out about an inch using the rain rounder and just really, and honestly, that's quite a bit faster than I think rolling. Rolling, yeah. Yeah. So usually Spencer would be rolling for five minutes or so to kind of work out everything all the way down um this is this is a, sh a shorter version you usually use like a two by four so it's pretty yeah. long like you, well, you also can't use it. a rain rounder on a whip because it's tapered mm. so yeah all righty so there's that that was there it is any any questions any questions about rounding reins or braids or making them? Bag handles. Yep. Yeah. Or dog collars. I was supposed to everybody just see Luna go up under the table. There's like a pile of foam up there that she clambers up on and then lays down. <laughs> How thick was Denny's piece? Is it seven to eight ounce? Seven to eight ounce. Both mm -hmm. of those pieces are seven to eight ounce. So seven to eight ounce and then doubled up. Yeah. And it made about a, what would you say, about a half inch round or maybe. Yeah, about uh, seven sixteenths. Getting real specific there. Depends on where you measure it. <laughs> Seven sixteenths to a half inch round is what you what you end up with. If you're making reins, that's about right. If you get much bigger, you've got a big handful. Yeah, nobody wants that. Yeah, no one wants a big handful. No. <laughs> Be able you're to concentrating on trying to control a horse, not what you're holding on to. That's right. That's right. Twelve hundred pounds of crazy. <laughs> Well, I'm so sorry, Smalls. Look, they, they got a rain rounder and an estate sale. I feel like this is just like the, the shoe anvils. Like, they've been around forever and ever, and you yeah. just kind of find them in random places as you walk around life. Yeah. Like, go to an Amish antique store. You could probably find several of both of them. Yeah. And also, for those of you at home, if you don't have a shoe anvil, you should. Because yeah. it's just the That's most right. handy thing that you could have in That's the shop. Right. So. One of our boys is sweet, and one of the boys is a little feisty. <laughs> oh, your horses? Oh, horses. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Well, that's it. That's mm -hmm. that's the whole shebang. Yeah. Good job, Spence. The, showed you everything we know. There's a look at the rain rounder again, just so everybody can see it. They make another type that you can doesn't you don't have to fasten it to a table. You can uh, clamp it in a vise, mm. so it's more portable. <laughs> we always need to see. He's even got a portable vise. Yeah. <laughs> he does. I did find him a really heavy Seven. Denny's big old shot bag. So yeah, it's like ten pounds. Bigger <laughs> shot bag <laughs> makes you a little lopsided when you walk. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to go to Twitch, we'll be live for another few minutes for the after party. Which is the party after the party. That's right, because this is the, the pre-party, and then we have to do the after party. Alrighty, guys. Well, it's been lovely. This is our one and only video this week. Um, for those of you that have signed up for the Ed Labar class, we look forward to seeing you guys next week. Um, if you are interested in a virtual option, um, we do have a couple seats still available in each class. And so we have the price lowered a little bit since obviously we can't provide you lunch if you're here virtually. Um, 
But if you would like to, send us an email at live at springfieldleather.com um, and Tony will get with you about the possibility of doing the virtual class. We will have, I think, about two spots available in each class for people that can't physically make it to the store. So if you're interested, please hit us up and let us know as soon as possible so that we can make sure that you have the supplies that you need. At this point, we're going to be looking at like overnighting or second dating so that everybody has everything to get going. Um, but let us know if you're interested in that. Um, otherwise, we will be back next Friday will be our next video. Um, Ed Labar and Denny will be tooling. So next Friday, Ed will be here and we will just be chatting and having a great time. And for those of you that have never gotten to spend any time or meet Ed, um, you'll get the opportunity to do that and I'm to watch. watch. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, to watch some of his amazing tooling. So we look forward to seeing everybody next week that will be here in town. I know I've got several out of staters that are coming in for the Ed Labar class. So I'm super excited to meet all of you guys. I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, we'll see you next Friday. Have a great rest of your week. Bye. Bye.